Hi, right, Killer Clan. Welcome back to Giant Foods. Today we got a subscriber sponsored video. Alan Alejandro asked me if I would do a great big huge Cuban. He sent me a recipe and all the ingredients. I've got pork butt, Boston butt, whatever you want to call it in here. I call it Pennsylvania butt because we're in Pennsylvania. And he also wanted me to see about a tres leche cake. So big cake right there. That's a five pound cake, by the way. So giant foods, giant cake, giant sandwich. Let's put this Cuban together. Mr. Pool, we're going to start out this episode by showing off the new uh, cutting board. Now, why is this significant? Because this is what we used to use. This is what we're using now. Because Giant Foods requires a giant cutting board. So, yeah, it does. that's where we're at. We got this uh, giant cutting board. Now, like I said, Alan sent me this recipe. I, I believe he's a chef in New York City. So, I've been slow roasting this uh, pork yeah. all day. Slow roasting this thing, we're going to get it out and dice it up, see what it's like. It's falling apart, which is good news. This is a, a, a five pound roast. Now obviously you lose a little bit of weight, obviously, from the cooking process. But I would still say it's probably like a four pound chunk of pork. It's huge. Um, so what is a Cuban, you may ask? Well, you're supposed to ask. What is a Cuban? <laughs> right, what is a Cuban? <laughs> okay, so a Cuban <laughs> is Cuban bread or Italian. If you can't find Cuban, which we uh, we did get a hunk of loaf up here of Italian. It's pork, honey ham, dill pickles, sliced super thin, and your choice of mustard. I went with just straight out yellow mustard because I happen to have it. And then you press it like a panini, and the bread is like garlic butter. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try it on the grill. I'm gonna try to press it and make it like a pressed sandwich and mm. Swiss cheese. So this thing, I do know that it has a bone in it. Mr. Pool. Look at this, look at that. I slow roasted this puppy all day long. Look at that. Bet your ears are like that, look at this. <laughs> Oh, it's like a, it's like a herd of wild animals or dogs. Wild animals. I don't know what you're thinking. Why didn't you give him the bones? Because Anderson doesn't have any teeth. It's because he's old and he lost all of his teeth but one. I was gonna say that's a lie. He has one tooth. He has one tooth. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this pork up. If you could smell this, it's uh, marinated in uh, mojo. It does smell good. It's it just definitely got to, if you could smell this. It's delicious. It has an aroma. It's kind of. I don't even want to say it's cute. It's to me, it's more like Jamaican. Almost like a jerk chicken. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever had jerk chicken or something. Mm, I don't recall. Warming up. Got some honey ham in there. We got two pounds of honey ham. We'll wait for these meats to warm up and then we will start putting this beast together. All right, Mr. Poole, we got an Italian loaf today because we're making a thicker sandwich. We didn't go uh, we didn't go with the traditional three-footer from the We Are In today. Um, I think the three-footer probably would have been overkill. Yeah, it would have, would have, that would have been crazy huge but this is a uh, what is this here a one pound Italian loaf and uh, so we need to make basically garlic bread out of this now of course everybody knows how to make garlic bread butter garlic, garlic boom <laughs> you know it's not uh, not Fun. rocket science it can be um, this was also sent to me by a subscriber get some garlic on here I've never actually had a Cuban, so I'm interested to uh, see how good it is. You know? Got that on there. This is actually hot. And then we're going to try to like press it with a pan. You know what I'm saying? It's the ham. We're going to start layering this in. Mm. 
Isn't that that? Then we're going to come over here and get some of this pork. Bring it over. Alan said that the uh, Cuban has Swiss cheese. Yep. You know, wash, rinse, repeat. Said so these need to be thinly sliced pickles, pickles, which we uh, these are pretty thin there. You know what I'm saying? Got the deal style. He said they had to be deal, so we went deal. Cause he didn't want to break the deal, so got a uh, got our deal flow on here. That's pretty good sandwich right there. Got some more. Uh, Stuff on there like that. Put the lid on her. <laughs> and there it is. There it is. The ultimate Cuban. Woo! That thing's a beast. Alright, Kelly Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips there, we made this gigantic Cuban sponsored by Alan Alejandro. And I really appreciate that. He was very helpful in helping me get the right ingredients for this, the the mojo to marinate this thing in and the pork. This stuff right here, if you could taste this. It's delicious. But I got myself a six, seven pound sandwich and I also have this big tres leche leche. I think I'm saying that wrong, but I can't wait to get in this. I don't think I've ever actually had this. But this thing alone weighs five and a half pounds. So we got about a 13 pound challenge here. Let's get into this. Without further ado, this Cuban sandwich that I created looks delicious. It has 12 hour roasted Boston pork butt. That's a lot of butt. Three, two, one. Cuban. I do you know, however, how this is gonna go? Try not to cut my brand new cookie sheet. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's a terrible idea. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, look at the freaking cross section of that beast. Wow, that looks, that actually, it does look delicious. Mmm. <clears throat> That is a good sound. It's a beast. No shortage of protein in this one. That garlic bread did get crunchy. Got some extra mustard here for eat. Like brown mustard on my food. If Heinz wants to sponsor me, should do. I only live like two and a half hours from where Heinz is actually made.
sad part is, I'm eating this delicious sandwich, but I got this thing next to me tempting me because this thing looks delicious. I'm a sucker for the sweeter things in life. I always say eat your dessert first, but I feel like this would be ice cold by the time I would get through that. That's a very good sandwich. Another chunk of this monstrosity, Mr. Pool. I don't know if I can do this. Here we go. Mm, I think it beat. I have to cradle it. Mm. I may possibly have just found one of my one of my new favorite sandwiches. Sweet cousin. <laughs> you got wings there. Hmm? I got wings there. Hmm. Damn, keep this thing together. I was once told that if the sandwich wasn't all over your face, it's not a good sandwich. <clears throat> really appreciate Alan. Recommending this, it's delicious. There's about $35 worth of meat on this sandwich. <laughs> Delicious sandwich, but it's too hard to keep together. I'll break it down. Is super, super, super salty. You're just smothering it in more mustard, Gene. Smother it in more sugar, more salt. <laughs> you know, defining moments in one's life. You know, birth, graduation, driver's license. First Cuban. First Cuban. First divorce. <laughs> Someone says time in the spotlight. There you go. I say Anderson, two second thunder. For some reason, I think you guys enjoy that two seconds if the dog eats more than me.
pony run into one piece of cartilage or tendon or whatever it is in the whole sandwich, I'd say I'd be pretty good. throughout the sandwich. <coughs> May have not been a bad call. I might have to double check, uh, double check the ingredients of a trust leche cake because I'm I can't remember exactly. I put a lot of ham on the bottom of this beast. Okay, so we're about 18 minutes in. We got the sandwich out of the way. I wipe my hands off. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm gonna slide this beast in. And just to give you some perception of how big this thing is. It's gigantic. It's bigger than my head. This thing's got strawberries on it because I'm trying to help keep it healthy. So I got the one with some fruit on it. I guess I should have cut the stems out first, huh? drinking straw. If you know the drinking straw trick, comment below. You know the drinking straw trick, Mr. Pool? Take a straw, burn. Stick a drinking straw right through the center, it takes the whole core out for you. Piece of chocolate. Mm, dark chocolate. Cook it a bean. Feels good for you. Like a lagoon.
healthy. <laughs> How funny is anything I can taste in that burp of strawberries. <laughs> Okay, so twenty one minutes in. Let's get into this trust like that. I know it's kinda of hard to see. Mmm. It is really good. It's um it's got strawberry on the inside too. Yeah, it's like a, a sponge cake, a layer of filling, sponge cake, and, and a layer of cup. And I take it that, like, the sponge part has milk in it. It's a very moist. Moist. Do you hear that? Comment below if you don't like the word moist. Anytime heavy whipping cream is involved, you know it's gonna be down. <clears throat> it's still frozen in there. Mm -hmm. This might be like one of the moistest cakes I've ever eaten. about 6,000 calories in this cake. And a delicious 6,000 in this. Who's not got good metabolism? That's a close guess. I can't do that. Yeah, it's hard This cake. I think it was a beast. All right, Killer Clan. So there you have it, the uh, Monster Cuban Sandwich in uh, Tres Leche Cake Challenge. It was delicious. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe like 13, 14 pounds. I didn't weigh it. This cake alone was five pounds, and that sandwich was probably, yeah, I would say seven-ish pounds. Shout out to Alan Alejandro for sponsoring this video. We really appreciate it. Actually, this is was bought by a subscriber, and the garlic powder I used was bought by a subscriber. The whole challenge was bought by a subscriber. I really appreciate you guys and watching and supporting the channel like you do. It's greatly appreciated. But if you haven't subscribed, that's all the support I ask for. Subscribe, like the video, share it. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And until next time, go out and get yourself just a sandwich and a piece of cake. Just like it all fits on one platter. You'll enjoy it. Take it easy.